Hi, I'm former astronaut Garrett Reisman, and this is David Knight. And I'm Melissa Eccleston. We are the producers of Three Nights and Three Days, which Garrett has graciously participated in the filming and creating of the documentary. And it's the story of bringing the Space Shuttle Endeavor here to Los Angeles, and especially about bringing it from LAX to the Science Center and how it reached out and touched so many people in our community. It's really a, a very well done, very beautifully told story. You guys did a fantastic job. And Garrett's one of our stars in the film. <laughs> you get to see it, you'll see him. There's only one star in the film and her name is Endeavor. Endeavor. So we made the film to inspire uh, people of all ages, but in particular uh, youth, to get them excited about science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, and how they can achieve their dreams, no matter where they come from, any environment. You can grow up and be very involved with things like the new generation of space travel. We knew that there was a technical story to tell around how we did it, but most importantly it was how the community came together and really was a part of the move and you know, Endeavor is for the community, so we're very excited that we were able to tell this once event story uh, with the California Science Center and hope everyone will go to the Science Center and see Endeavor in her new home. I'm Paul Bazamowski, uh, the director of Three Nights, Three Days, Endeavor's Journey Through Los Angeles. And it's a story of how the Space Shuttle Endeavor came into LAX, uh, Los Angeles International Airport, and went 13 miles from LAX to the California Science to the streets of Los Angeles to the California Science Center. And what was incredible about the film, besides this amazing uh, engineering feat of actually getting the shuttle from point A to point B, is the impact on the community of Los Angeles as it went through the streets. Uh, and the, the ability of a piece of technology like the space shuttle to inspire uh, not only adults but children as well, uh, and to inspire really the California Science Center. The California Science Center mission is to inspire the next generation of, science, of scientists and engineers. So that was an amazing uh, experience. My name is Mark August. I was the director of photography filming here in Los Angeles. Um, as a cinematographer and a camera operator, I was approached by the producer David Knight to help out with this project about five to six months before the space shuttle even arrived. That's when the planning started. And at that point, I really didn't understand what the project was really, really going to be historically. And I went to our board and said, look, I have an opportunity for all of us to be a part of something very historical. Um, we had 14 camera crews, um, plus so 22 cameras per day, and we ended up having to get a mobile um, office, which ended up being an RV about 43 feet long. Hope you enjoy the film. It was a lot of fun. It was very tiring. Um, one of the things that was hardest was uh, lack of sleep. But if you see the film, you'll notice that all those thousands of people were there, just excited. And that energy really helped us stay energized. I was just very uh, fortunate and honored to always be a part of that for the rest of my life. It's, it's one of those bucket list things you get to do. And, uh, I was honored to do that. So I hope you enjoyed the film. And uh, look at the camera work. That's the uh, heart and soul of a lot of professionals from the side of camera operators volunteering their time so that you can enjoy a film like this.